Hello, I'm Jeremy Sylvester from Urban Dubs Music and LukeWax.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make some garage house one shots and chords in Ableton Live using the MIDI chord effect. But before I get started, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscription button above and the notification symbol to be notified of all our shows. Let's get started. Okay, so what is a chord MIDI effect? Well, what it does, it actually assembles chords. So from one note, you can add up to six notes to make up a chord. Notes, also known as shifts. So it has six shifts. Each shift can move in range of plus or minus 36 semitones, allowing you to select the pitch of the notes. I've got a track, I've got a core game one track here. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go into Ableton's MIDI effects here. And as you can see, it has a selection of folders here. I'm gonna click onto the chord folder here and drag and drop it onto the M1 track. Okay, so automatically here you see that it has a default setting of 10, 14, 17, 19, okay. So I've just put a piano on there for now uh, from the Core cool Game 1. All right. What you'll notice is once I take off the chord effect, it just plays one note. Once I put it back on, it's playing notes. So each shift can move in range from plus or minus 36 semitones, allowing you to select the pitch of the notes. Uh, it also has a velocity control on each of the shifts. Um, this will allow you to do further harmonic designing, just like if you was a keyboard player playing chords. Certain notes that you will have on a lower volume than others, so, you know, just different velocity ranges within a chord. Therefore, to balance your chord structure and element. So if, for example, you set shift one to plus four semitones, and we had shift two on plus seven, all right, I'm gonna cancel these off, bring these back to zero here, all right. What that is effectively playing is a major note, all right? So if I was to make shift three the same as shift two, as in plus seven, you will notice that will disable itself because actually within a chord so you know in theory you cannot have two notes the same within a chord it doesn't make any sense right so once you do that it would just cancel it would just disable itself okay so now i'm going to show you a couple of examples of a chord layout with the midi chord effect you can use for house and garage music or similar genres you know it could be uk garage could be deep house soulful house house music jungle drum and bass whatever it is so I'm gonna create a major ninth note, which is quite soulful. You know, a lot of uh, garage and house tracks have this type of chord within it. So I'm gonna set shift one to plus four, and shift two is already on plus seven. I'm gonna set shift three to plus 11. I'm gonna set shift four to plus 14. And I'm gonna set shift five to minus 12. Okay, so if I was to unmute that chord effect, it would just literally be playing one note. Switch it back on. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna just maybe drop a little drum loop in there just to kind of give you a feel of how we can use that. Uh, so if I go into my sample packs, I'm gonna go into, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into 90s 
Garage Tools Volume 3. These are my sample packs available from lootwax.com. Okay, I'm just gonna drop that into an audio track here. We'll just have it playing. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go into my core game one and uh, I'm actually going to shorten the notes a bit and, and keep the attack on minus 50. we just bring down the release a little bit. I'm actually going to take off the effects because I want to keep it dry. All right, let's see how that sounds. I'm also going to drop a audio effect, audio filter. So, you know, we can use this within the arrangement, you know, sometimes we can have the we can have the one shots playing as they are and then sometimes later on, you know, especially a lot of deep house tracks, a lot of garage house tracks, we can start filtering things. Let's have a play. Okay, so we'll just play with that. Uh, we can just have that as a layer, as a layer bed. And then we're gonna add some, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna duplicate that track but with another sound, but we're gonna play it in a different way. All right, so. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna duplicate that. So if we right click, duplicate, um, highlight, well, I'm just gonna change the color of it so we know which, which one's which. And then um, I'm gonna highlight the track. And then also, we're gonna keep the chord the same and we're gonna hide the filter for now and then what we're gonna do, but we're actually gonna go back into the M1 itself and change the sound, but have it playing. So maybe, I'm thinking maybe some, um, let's see, let's see what's happened. Let's see what we can find. Okay, let me just uh, arm this track so we know what we're playing. Go into M1, go to Browse, let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take the effects off this as well. And go into performance, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna bring the attack right down and just bring the release down a little bit as well. And let's go back and see what it sounds like. Still got some effect on that, let's take, let's take it off. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, let's see what happens. There you go, that's better.
probably find a better one than that. Let's go back and just find a more crispier sound. with that let me just take the effects off that as well and go back in just going to delete that track here which we don't want that to be the same as the first track we want it to be a new pattern Record that in. Two, three, four. All right. Let's go into that. Let's uh, let's highlight it, and then we're going to quantize it. So we've got the quantize settings at the moment. One sixteenth T. That's quite nice to give it the same to give it the same swing as the other one. If we went back to the first chord Because you can imagine in arrangement we can kind of mess around with a filter. Okay, so we've got a little bass track I've got here. Go into that. Uh, let's have a look and see. Let's highlight these. Go into quantize. Should be the same settings as before. One sixteenth T. Uh. These notes, I'm not sure they're the right notes. Just yeah, A2. So yeah, there you go. That's the way I kind of construct my one shots with chord MIDI effect in Ableton. It's very, very simple, really. And I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, catch you on the next video. Peace.